In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways how to dismiss keyboard at three different times. For example, one of the ways or one of the time when to dismiss keyboard is when user taps on uh, a button. For example, in my application, I have uh, one search field, one text field and one search button. If I tap into a text field, um, I don't get um, my keyboard does not uh, show up. So if um, in your case, keyboard does not show up as well, go to hardware, keyboard, and then toggle software keyboard. Okay, so uh, when user taps something and then they tap on a search button, we want to perform some business logic and then send a um, request to a server side. And once we receive a response, we normally want to dismiss the keyboard because user is um, done typing. So uh, one of the ways is to um, dismiss it when user taps on a button and the keyboard disappears. Uh, another way is, of course, you, to use um, the device keyboard and on device keyboard we have a return button and normally return button is enabled, but when you tap on it, uh, it does not dismiss a keyboard. So uh, in uh, my application, I'm going to change return uh, the default return button into a different button like done. And when a user taps on this button, uh, we will dismiss the keyboard. And another way to dismiss the keyboard or another uh, good time uh, to dismiss the keyboard is when user taps away somewhere on the view. Normally, it means that user wants to dismiss the keyboard, like they're, they're done uh, working with this uh, text field and um, they, want to, they want the keyboard to be dismissed. So we will, uh, in this example, we'll consider each one of this, uh, the button tap, the view tap, and the uh, return button tap on the keyboard. Okay, so I will stop this example and I will uh, go to uh, my uh, new project. I will create iOS application, single view application, and I will call it uh, my dismiss keyboard example. Okay, I'll go to main storyboard. Um, I have one view controller created uh, by Xcode uh, by default. So I'll resize it to four inch. And I will uh, grab, now I'll find the text field. If you're designing, um, your user interface design might have multiple text fields. For example, uh, you might be designing user login or registration form. But uh, in my example, I will use only uh, one text field. And uh, I'll have button. And I'll call it, um, I'll give it a title search. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay, so um, if I run my example now with iPhone 5, and I tap into um, a text field, the return button is disabled. I mean, I can tap on it, but it does not dismiss the keyboard. Button does not the keyboard does not dismiss the keyboard as well. And tapping on uh, 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 a view away from the text field does not dismiss a keyboard. So let's go ahead and implement um, a couple of ways how to dismiss uh, the keyboard. I will click on view controller, hide my left side panel open this view controller into uh, in assistant editor. And first of all, I want to create a couple of outlets. So I'll click on a text field, hold control button on my keyboard, drag and drop it here. And the first outlet I'll call my text field. Okay. Uh, the next outlet I'll create for my search button, click, drag and drop here connection will be action and I'll call it uh, search button tapped okay 
and I'll make use of this function right away okay so the first uh, way to uh, dismiss the keyboard is to simply uh, refer the text field and call the function resign resign first responder this will dismiss uh, the keyboard if the cursor was in this text field if you have multiple text fields for example you you're designing a registration form then most probably you will have to, because you never know which text field user is currently editing so you might want to implement resign first responder for every single field text field uh, one text field two text field three and and um, etc but there is another way how to dismiss a uh, keyboard um, as well so let's run this example and see if our uh, search um, button uh, works and dismisses the keyboard okay so i'm here i tap on search button and keyboard dismisses if i tap away keyboard does not dismiss okay that works okay so now let's implement um let's activate uh, the keyboard uh, keyboard's return button i will open a left side uh, i mean right side panel and i will select make sure my text field is selected and then i'll scroll down a little bit and under here um, here are some keyboard settings i can uh, choose a different type return key so i can uh, have um, go google join next or something like sent or done so I'll, I'll choose done okay and then um i will hide it i don't need it anymore and then i will uh hold control button on my keyboard click on the text field drag onto this uh, very first button uh, with the view controller pop over and then dismiss uh, and then release i mean and under the outlets i want to select delegate so now i have established a delegate and um, i will go back to my source code i'll put comma here and i want to implement one of the delegates um, functions and this delegate is from ui text field delegate so now our view controller once we i once we add ui text field delegate uh, our view controller um, conforms to a protocol and if i hold control button on my keyboard and click on ui text field delegate i can see uh, which functions uh, um, from this protocol i can implement okay and the one at the bottom is uh, the one i'm looking for it's called text field should return and if you read the com uh, comments here it says called when return key pressed um, there are, there are other functions for example text field should begin editing and um, a text field uh, did begin editing so if you experiment with uh, all of this uh, i think it will be very uh, helpful and educational but the one we need for this example is uh, text field should return so i'll copy entire function uh, signature i'll go back to my code and i'll paste it here uh, and this function uh, returns uh, boolean so i will return true uh, and of course i want to dismiss uh, my uh, keyboard when um, this function is called so i will uh, copy this um, code and paste it here as well and uh, what we uh, do here is we uh, refer to our text field and we say uh, resign first responder for this text field so now uh, if i uh, run this code again and tap on the done button on my keyboard this time uh, mobile device keyboard this function should um, be called so if i tap in i see that uh, my button on the keyboard return button on the keyboard is now of different type uh, it is a done button and when i tap on it I get this function uh, um, called for example if I go away to a different source code and then I will just run this again and I'll put a breakpoint I 
output breakpoint and tap on the button here it is so the correct the correct function gets called and I simply run it uh, okay so now another good time to dismiss a uh, keyboard is when user taps away from the text field somewhere on the uh, on the view and um, uh, to do that we can implement a special type function which is called touches begun and the way to um, uh, bring it up is uh, we can start typing uh, overwrite and then func and then touches touches begun um, this is the one with the event and um, here inside of this function we could uh, use uh, just the same way um, as in two previous um, examples my text field dot resign first responder but there is also a different way and uh, this way is very convenient especially when you have a multiple text fields on your view for example if you're implementing your user registration you might have five six or seven text field and calling resign first responder for every text field is not very convenient so you can make use of uh, a different function um, of a view which is called end editing so I can um, implement it this way self view and editing true so a touch has begun will be called as soon as I uh, tap uh, somewhere on the view and then uh, this uh, line of code should dismiss our keyboard let's try it so I'll run my uh, example again and then I will uh, tap inside of text field to bring up keyboard and if I tap away somewhere here in the um, on, on the view it should dismiss the keyboard so if I put a breakpoint inside inside of touches begun and then bring up keyboard again and if I tap away here the breakpoint stops in the function touches begun so that works if I run again okay so everything works and we now know uh, how to dismiss a keyboard in three uh, at three different times when we tap away when we tap on a button or when we tap on the return button on the uh, device keyboard